Mark. Now Simon's mother-in-law lay ill with a fever, and immediately they told him about her. And his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside they sent to him and called him. And a crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers are outside seeking you. And he answered them, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking about at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God, he is my brother and sister and mother. <laughs> and they laughed at him. But he put them all outside, and took the child's father and mother and those who were with him, and went in where the child was. And she went out and said to her mother, For what should I ask? And she said, The head of John the Baptist. And brought his head on a platter and gave it to the girl. And the girl gave it to her mother. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother. And whoever reviles father or mother must surely die. But you say, If a man tells his father or his mother, Whatever you would have gained from me is Corban, that is, given to God, then you no longer permit him to do anything for his father or mother. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife. You know the commandments. Do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not bear false witness, do not defraud. Honor your father and mother. Jesus said, Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house, or brothers or sisters, or mother or father, or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel, who will not receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses and brothers and sisters, and mothers and children and lands, with persecutions, and in the age to come, eternal life. There were also women looking on from a distance, among whom were Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James the Younger and of Joses, and Salome. Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joses saw where he was laid. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint him.